Hey, how you doing? It's Ed McDonald from Tundra Music, and today I have a 1972 Gibson Walnut ES150, which is basically the shape of a 335 from the top, but the thickness of uh, sort of a 175. Does not have the solid maple block like a 335 would have, and has a few other features. So it's basically, it's it's like a uh, <coughs> jazzy kind of guitar. Some guys might use it for a blues context, you know. To keep the volume level under control, you can probably use it for pretty much anything. Uh, there's a master volume, which makes it kind of cool, and uh, so you could have everything cranked up, two volumes, two tones, and uh, have it all cranked up. And uh, see, so it still has an acoustic sound, so you've got a little bit of that going on. And uh, you can use this master up and down which is kind of cool so for effect or just basically to control everything at once or turn the whole thing off there you go so it has a nice little piece. What's different about this guitar too is somebody had changed these parts. These are all Gibson parts, but changed it to gold. Most of these were uh, were uh, Nick uh, Chrome, and uh, it would have Gibson on the actual uh, pickup covers. But since they've been replaced, these are hand-wound pickups too, which sound really good. And the overall condition of the guitar is excellent. It's got the original case, and uh, yeah. So if you want a great 1972 Gibson ES. 150. This may be it. Check out tundramusic.com. We got tons of vintage Gibson, Fender, Martin, and everything else you can shake a stick at, and a lot of new guitars too, like uh, Guild, Fender, and a uh, whole bunch. So come and see us. Want to be your guitar supplier? <laughs>